Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how we can write a C program to display this pattern, which is nothing but we will have a square with the diagonals. Then we can modify this program and we can make it display the patterns like this or this. You know, we can make a lot of modifications. So here, the first thing that we do is we will take this pattern and we will divide it in terms of rows and columns. So here we can say that this is the first row, second row, third row, fourth row and fifth row. And similarly, first column, second column, third, fourth and fifth column. So by looking at this, we can directly say that total number of rows present in this pattern is equal to total number of columns present in this pattern. That is, in this pattern, if you're going to have 10 rows, then each row will contain 10 columns. Now, if you look at this pattern, then in a column, we are displaying star or we are displaying space. So whenever we are not displaying star, we are displaying a space. So this pattern consists of stars and spaces. Now, when we go to display this pattern, what we do is we will print row by row. So the content of the first row will be displayed in a row and then we go to the next line to display the contents of the next row. So we will uh, apply some logic and we will display the star or spaces that we have to display. And then we go to the next line to display the next row. And when our program completes execution, we will have this pattern displayed on the screen. Now, first what we're gonna do is we will display a pattern which will contain star in every column and it will look something like this. And after that, we will apply the logic and we will display the stars in certain positions and uh, we will display spaces in certain positions. So first, let us see how we can write a C program to display this pattern which will contain of star in every columns. Now here, I have already written some code. I have uh, included the stdio.h header file and then we have the main function. The first thing that we do here is we will declare the variable that we need. The first variable that we need is for storing the number of rows or number of columns that will be present in this pattern. And we will ask the user to enter this value. So I'm going to take an integer type of variable and I'm going to call it as total row call total number of rows and columns, both are same. And uh, after that, we can use the printf function and we can ask the user to enter the number of rows for which he wants this pattern. And after that, we can use the scanf function and we can read the user input and we can store that in the total row call variable. So it will be percentage %d and we will store the value in the total row call variable. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to construct a grid containing whatever the number of rows the user says and it will contain that many columns. So what we're gonna do is we can use a for loop and this for loop will provide whatever the number of rows the user wants. I'm gonna use a variable in here and I'm gonna call this as row number and we will start counting from one and how many rows that we want you know, if the user says five rows, then we want five rows. So we can write the condition here like row number less than or equal to total row call. So if the user says I want five rows, then this for loop will run five times. After that, we will increment the value of the row num variable. And here what I can do is I can display the row number that we get. So I'm going to use the printf function and I'm going to display the row number just to show you guys. Now if I save this program and if I run this code and if I say I want five rows then you guys can see the for loop has run five times and it has displayed the row number one two three four five but we want every row in separate lines so what we can do is we can uh, insert a new line after printing whatever that we have to print for a particular row so I'm going to use the printf function and I'm going to insert a new line. If I save this program now and if I run this and if I say five rows, now you guys can see we get five rows and all of them are appearing in separate lines. Now what we have to do is for every row we want columns 
and here since we need more than one column for every row what we can do is we can use another for loop so i'm going to use a for loop in here and this for loop will provide the columns for every row i'm going to take a variable and i'm going to call it as call num for column number and we will start the count from 1 and how many columns that we want for a particular row that value is equal to the total number of rows present in this pattern so we can write the condition here as column number less than or equal to total row call and after that we can increment the value of this column num variable now inside this for loop what we can do is we can uh, display whatever that we want to display for every column so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this uh, printf statement which is displaying the row number and let us say in every column we want to display star so i'm going to use the printf function and i'm going to display star and after that i'm going to insert a space and this space that I'm adding here is for the separation between the columns. Now, if I save this program and if I run this code and if I say number of rows equal to five and now you guys can see we get this grid. So now we can say that we have this pattern. Now, what we want to do is we want to display star in some places and we want to display spaces in some places. Now, if you look at this pattern, then here, in every row in the first column we are displaying the star so for every row if the column number is equal to one then we have to display the star so in our program what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that condition so when we are displaying whatever that we have to display for the columns we will add the conditions so the condition that we will add will be inside the for loop that we have for the columns so here I'm going to use the if else conditional statement. If some condition is true, then what we do is we will display the star. Else, if that condition is not true, then we will display a space. So I'm going to use the printf function in here and I'm going to display a space. And after displaying the space, I'm going to insert another space. And the second space I'm adding here is for the separation between the columns. So what we are doing here is we will add some condition. If that condition evaluates to true, then we will display star. If it is not true, then we will display space. So the first condition that we have seen is whenever we are in the first column of every row, we need to display the star. So here we can check whether we are in the first column or not by checking the value present in this column variable. So we can write if column is equal to one in that case we will display star now if i save this program and if i run this code and if i say five rows then you guys can see we get the star displayed in the first column of every row and whenever we are not in the first column we are displaying space now and it is not visible okay now that is the one condition that we can say after that if you look at this pattern then in the last column of every row we are displaying the star so when we are in the last column we have to display the star how we can say that we are in the last column we can say that by checking out the column value column number value and how we can say we are in the last column here in this program we have asked the user to enter the number of columns or the number of rows present in this pattern and we know that the number of rows equal to number of columns present in this pattern and here we are starting the count from one if the user says i want five rows for this pattern then this pattern will have five rows and five columns and since we are starting the count from one here the last row or the last column will have the number five which is equal to the total number of rows or total number of columns present in this pattern and which is entered by the user so we can add that condition to this program now so we will use the r operator and we can check whether we are in the last column or not if the column number variable is containing a value which is equal to total row call variables value then 
we are in the last column and we will display star in that case. Here with this if we are stating that if any of this condition is true, we want to display star else we want to display a space. Now if I save this program and if I run this code and if I say 10 rows and it will display stars here in the first column and the last column of this pattern. Now the next thing is if you look at here then in the first row we are displaying the star in every column that is in our pattern if the row number is equal to 1 then we have to display the star. So we can add that condition also. So here in this uh, program I'm going to use the or operator and I'm going to add another condition and I will insert that in a new line and that condition here will be if we are in the first row and we can check that by using the row num variables value. If the row num is containing one then it means we are in the first row and we want to display star in every column of the first row. So we will add that condition. If I save this program and if I run this and if I say 10 rows now you guys can see we get this pattern. Okay now if you look at here then in the last row also we are displaying the star in every column. So we have to check whether we are in the last row. If we are in the last row then we have to print the star in every column and how we can say that we are in the last row. Just like the way I have explained for the columns by checking whether the row num variables value is equal to total number of rows or columns present in this pattern we can say that we are in the last row. So we can add that condition also. So here we will use the or operator again and we will add another condition which is nothing but if the row num is equal to total row call variables value. If it is so then we are in the last row and we want to display star in every column. If I save this program and if I run this code and if I say 10 rows now you guys can see we get this square box. Okay now we have this box now we have to construct the logic for displaying this diagonals. So if you look at here then whenever we have row num is equal to column num we are displaying star that is in the first row first column we are displaying star in the second row second column we are displaying star in the third row third column we are displaying star fourth row fourth column we are displaying star fifth row fifth column we are displaying star. So we can add another condition which is nothing but whenever we have row num equal to column number we have to display the star. So here I'm going to use the R operator I'm going to add another condition and that is if we have row num is equal to call num then we want to display the star. If I save this program and if I run this code and if I say 10 rows now you guys can see we get this pattern. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to add the second diagonal for this pattern. Now here if you look at it then we are displaying the star here and the row number is 1 column number is 5. Okay let's add them. So if we add the row number and column number we get 6. Similarly here row number is 2 column number is 4 we get 6. Here also 3 plus 3 we get 6. Here also which is 4 plus 2 we get 6 and here also which is 5 plus 1 row number 5 column number 1 we get 6. This 6 actually is equal to total number of rows or total number of columns present in this pattern plus 1. In this pattern we have total number of 5 rows or we have total of 5 columns. So when we perform total number of rows or columns plus 1 we get 6. So we can add this condition also that is in our program here we will use the OR operator and we will add another condition and that is whenever we perform row num plus column number if we get the value which is equal to total row call variables value plus 1. Okay. If it is true then we will display the star. Here I am using the parenthesis to group the calculation that we are performing. If I save this program now and if I run this code 
and if i say 15 rows now you guys can see we got the pattern that we were talking about now what we can do is we can make the modifications and we can display the stars so here i'm gonna run it one more time i'm gonna say 15 rows here if we eliminate displaying stars in the every column of the first row and every column of this last row then we will get a different pattern so to do that we will remove this condition that we have added so we will not display the star in the every column of the first row and every column of the last row so i'm gonna remove that condition now and if i save the program and if i run this code and if i say 15 columns 15 rows then we get this pattern similarly here if we don't display the star in the first column of every row and the last column of every row then we get a different pattern so what we can do is we can remove that condition also so we will not display the star in the first column and the last column of every row if i save this program and if i run this code and if i say 15 rows now you guys can see we get this pattern similarly we can make more modifications and we can display different different patterns so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video